Hi there. Today I want to show you how you can prove an ownership of any Ethereum key. Uh, let's get started. So one way to prove it in order, and without revealing your private key to anyone, let's say if I'm running a quiz where I'm uh, asking you to answer, let's say, uh, one or two, and I want to know that you are the one who you claim to be, so you can go ahead to myetherwallet.com slash sign message and let's say I you provide your answer to and then you choose the way how you want to access your private key so uh, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a private key and also how you can do it with MetaMask and how you can do it with Ledger Wallet so let's choose the private key option I'm just going to paste the private key um, just so you know it doesn't have any money so you don't have to try to hack it. So this is the signature that I just signed this message with my private key and this is the signature that I really care. So then you can give me this whole hash to, as an answer. Let's say, okay, okay Roman, I choose message two. This is my address and this is my signature. So then I, I can verify it. Let's say we are gonna use some other service uh, where so we select your address, we select your hash, and we select the message too. And then we click verify. So it looks like this signature is valid. That's why we get the successful message that it's passed. What if we provide some fake signature? Let me... So let's say if I'm gonna paste this address, I'm gonna paste the signature, but we're gonna paste some different number. And it's not gonna pass because the signature is invalid. So that's how we can check if you are the owner of this public key. So what about some other options? Let's take our ledger wallet, this one this guy and we're gonna connect it to the Mac uh, I'm gonna enter my pin code then I'm gonna select application Ethereum on my ledger then I need to go to settings on, in your ledger wallet, when you logged in, you selected Ethereum, go to settings. Then you need to enable browser support. There is a tab called browser support. So go there and then click yes, enable browser support. Okay, after that, you can go to my Ether wallet Actually, yeah, let me switch the network. Okay, Kovan, that's fine. I'm gonna do sign message. Also, by the way, the, the, here is the link to sign message here. And then let's say we're gonna say message, hello, oracles.org. And we're gonna select ledger wallet, connect to ledger. So now my Ledger is communicating with my browser via myetherwallet.com. So I can select, let's say, uh, this address. And I'm gonna unlock. Then I'm gonna click sign message. So then the ledger is asking you, do you want to sign this message? Yes or no? And you need to click yes, I wanna sign it. So then you, have generated the signature here. So then we can verify that if this signature is valid. So I'm gonna go to either scan. So let's say I'm gonna take this hash here, tag this address here, and the message is hello oracles. Cool. 
And the last way that I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing is if you go to same tab, my Ether wallet, you can select MetaMask. If you, if you use MetaMask and say, hello, oracles.org, again, connect, sign. So MetaMask will ask you to sign the message. You can click sign and we have just generated a new signature. Thank you, thank you for watching.